are with destiny. Let me hear you scream. It's such a such an it's such an honor to be here tonight. Would you lift your hands and just bless God? If you were here last year, let me see your hands up. This tells me that God has been faithful. I don't know whether you have met your target for 2019. But the fact that you are standing in this year's edition of the encounter means that God has been faithful. It is only those who are joined to the living that have hope. Your greatest asset is life. It's not your building, it's not your savings. When you wake up and you can preach, you have something to build on. Yeah. I don't care how much you have in your account. If there is no life to use it, it's wasted. Somebody else will collect it. Lift those hands if you know God has given you life in this place. Wave those hands like somebody who has a walking hand. Some people's hand is like this. It doesn't come down anymore. But your hands can move. To the glory of God, you wave your hands. God does not inhabit our music. He inhabits our praise. If we end up singing songs from our head tonight, we may never experience God. Give God praise tonight. Don't just give him songs. Give him praise tonight. The difference between praising and singing is the relationship. If you don't have a relationship with God, you are doing vocal exercise. Yes, there's benefit for that one. You'll be able to sing very well. But only those who have relationship with God can truly praise Him. Lift those hands and just bless your Father. Worship is not about the music. Praise is not about the music. It's about your heart, a grateful heart. Who is grateful to be alive today? Who is grateful to be among the living today? Who has breath in their lungs today? Who has breath in their lungs today? Oh Lord, I came to give you praise. I've come to give back to you, Jehovah. Thank you for your love. Thank you for this great house, this great house. Thank you for this place of worship. Thank you for the leadership of this church. Thank you for the sons and daughters of consolation. You have given this great vision. We return the glory to your name. Wave those hands if you are grateful. There are churches where they desire to gather people like this, but they cannot afford to have it. There are churches where they desire to have programs like this, but they don't know where to get the resources from. But from among you, God has raised giants of faith. And you can put something together like this and make his praise glorious. Give him praise from your heart. Lift your hands and worship. Release words, release words. To have an encounter, you cannot keep quiet. Something must leave you. <laughs> Something must leave your lips tonight. By God, let it be praise, let it be gratitude. So many started this year, but they're not here today. We give you glory, Lord.
Lift your voice wherever you are declaring. We give you becomes a walk in the park. And one of the fastest way to bring him to the situation is thanksgiving. Oh God. Oh God. Jesus took five loaves and two fishes and said, Father, I thank you. If you knew what your thanksgiving in this service will do for you. Nobody will be able to stop you from shouting and praising and dancing. If you, if you knew, if you knew what your appreciation of God would do, you will, you will be uncontrollable here tonight. So, Lord, my God, the road. 
for you are God by yourself.
Listen, for those of you who are connecting spiritually to what is happening here, God will show himself strong on your behalf. You know, it is irresponsibility to come before God without an expectation. Some people just came here because You don't do that. Yes, come. God likes to show off. Hello. He wants to. He wants to use you as a showcase of His power, of His glory. Lift those hands wherever you are. Those of you who have expectations. For the expectation of the righteous. Expectation is the mother of manifestation. Yes, sir. If you are not expecting supernatural activity in this meeting, you are selling yourself short. How can you encounter God and still be the same person? How can you have a rub off with God and still feel the same pain? How can you encounter God and still be very conscious of the magnitude of your problem? He didn't just want us to sing. He said, sing you praises with understanding. Tell somebody, Jesus is at the center of it all. Jesus is at the center of it all. You know, you know, when you are so used to church, church becomes like a routine. Something you must do. But God is not interested in playing church. He's interested in touching lives. God is not suffering from low self-esteem. In other words, he's not looking for attention. If it's that one, billions of angels are worshipping him daily, every hour. Why does he want us to gather? Why? Why church? Why, why singing? Why all night praise? Why? Because he inhabits the praises of his people. His people. Hallelujah. Some kind of miracles will happen in your life that your nine months of prayer could not have done. I didn't hear an amen. People don't understand. That is everything you have gained and achieved for nine months will look like child's play with what will come out of tonight. I could have been anywhere else. I could have even been out of the country. So I'm not looking for where to go and sing. With all humility, God has been faithful. I'm supposed to be out of the country tonight so that we are not just doing activity. God is not interested in empty activity. If this praise and worship does not change your attitude towards life, you have wasted time. When Anna prayed and God had her, the Bible says her countenance So if you came here depressed, you are supposed to live here full of joy. If you came here feeling some pains, you are supposed to live here strong. Hallelujah. If you came here broke, you are supposed to live here with several alerts entering your phone. Credit a lot to credit. Jesus is at the center of it all. How much time do we got? Just wave those hands. Do you love Jesus? Do you love Jesus here? Uh. It's you that I see. Anybody like me? It's you that I see. Lord, at the center of it all. It's you that I see. 
It's you that I see. He will show up in your favor tonight. There is power in your name. Do I have a witness here? Up in the gallery. Do you believe it? Since I'm God with faith in your heart, the clap.
you feel pain. Put your hands wherever a situation is bothering you right now. So that you know that this God is mighty in the midst of our prayers. I dare you to dare God tonight. Some of you have never experienced a miracle before. Get ready for this minute. Get ready for this minute. Wherever you feel the situation, wherever, if you can put your hands there. We're going to command that pain. We're going to command a change right now. Therefore, God also has highly exalted him, giving him a name that is above every other name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Every tongue confess both of things in heaven, things in the air, things under the earth. Jesus Christ is Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I rebuke that pain. of God is like argument. The same science teacher will tell you, they will recognize that they are demons. They don't have problem with the fact that they are demons. They don't have problem with the fact that there is demonic forces. But when you say, Jesus is real, God is real, they're like, uh, uh. are you sure, are you sure? Why is it that people have faith for the wrong things? more than they have for the right things. One day I came home. A strange woman had been in our house. We welcomed her. She was supposed to be a prophetess. As she came to the house, everybody began to fall sick. I was 18, 19, but I had met the Lord at 14. So I was a general. I was like the pastor of the house. I was like very young. Everybody was falling sick. <laughs> Except me. Because when I saw her, I was very young. I, something was not right. Child of God, there is signal all over this place now. If you don't tune your antenna to the right frequency, you will not hear anything. Life is not ordinary. Life is not these things. <laughs> I came back and I was very, because I knew it, it was not ordinary. How can people just fall sick at the same time? <laughs> so both of them were simply one older than me, the one was younger than me. So I said, as I was talking, they were seeing things. Look at them, look at them. As I looked at the wall, nobody was there. They were seeing things. So as I was coming close, I said, they are going, they are going. I said, as, they, as I was advancing, they were going. Okay, I advanced, I got to the gate. They said, they are going, they are running away. I said, ah. So they have respect. That's good. So I went home. I went in the house. I said, don't go to your rooms. I'm sleeping in the parlor tonight. Any contact you can make tonight, just make contact. Let me see that devil. Don't touch you. By morning, you'll be okay. They say, Amen. Amen. You know, sickness can humble people. Amen. So I slept. One person grabbed my leg. One person grabbed my head. By morning, men and brethren, the 
person that was doing like vegetable has woken up. It was a, both of them were doing their normal work. They didn't even say thank you, man of God. They just got up like normal, doing every. I, I woke up to realize that ah, it's like I'm the only one in this. Place. They were doing their normal things. There is power in your name. It's not. It's more than a song. Miracles happen in your name. It's more than lyrics. As we lift our voice in praise, it's you. struggling with your academics and you think it's your lecturer's problem you need to just get spiritually angry and say what is wrong with this my head in the name of Jesus comprehend all the day You know when you say everything that I have now, some people say, ah, it's spiritual having. Some of you, you have spiritual everything, physically, no evidence. After this praise tonight, there will be physical evidence of your spiritual having. Say that amen like thunder. Say that amen like They are not praising while we are praising because one boy, Jew, told you. After four years, he said, I'm not doing it again. So as we are even jumping, you are wondering, what's wrong with these people? What, what, what's all this? Can somebody just be sorrowful in peace? You, you are, we are wondering, what's your, what, what is it? What is, what is it? Is it, more, is it no more than singing? That's because your self-confidence is coming from a boy. Or a man. My own is coming from the fact that Jesus loves me and he died for me. Lord, I say for your love I'm If Jesus died for you in this place, let me see you in the front here. Let me see you in the front. Jesus died for if Jesus died for you. One, two, three. Jehovah Alpha, Jehovah Nisi, I am that I am my great provider. Like this, rub your head. This is a season of good things, good things, good things, good things. Those who desire good relationship is happening, it's happening already. One, two, sorry.
in this church. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you?